Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Nuke coming at you with another episode of Day Trading with Nuke. And here we are with the pre-morning watch list for Thursday, January 3rd, 2019, second trading day of the year. And we're going to jump right into it here with the SPY. All right, guys and gals, as we go through this, I'm going to go through the pre-mart or the one minute chart on the left. And I want you to pay attention to my crosshairs on the right. You'll see as I move them, it's going to show here on the right. And pay attention to key levels and where you find these support and resistances, right? Okay, so working from our top down, 100% extensions at 255.17. 50% going to be at 252.75. Pre-market highs at 250.42, 50 percent on that is at 248.06. 100 or pre-market low 245.70, 50 percent extensions at 243.35, and then 241 for the 100 percent to the low side. Nice little wedge. Um, I don't expect to see it break out of the 100 percent up or down today, and probably not even outside of the 50 percent all right next up we are going to go talk apple and we're going to try and keep this list really short for you guys right apple had a hell of a gap down yesterday or after market yesterday it gap down 10 bucks and then it kind of stabilized it caught a little bit of ground but not enough to recover and you can see here where i drew a pre-market uh trend line on apple already so i'm a little more biased to the low side as people lose confidence um yeah a lot of times the gappers they try and fill that gap but in this case i don't know if that's a good value because i think this thing might be ready to come on down even further right if the big money's pulled out so pre-market highs at 157.97 50 percent of that is at 150.45 pre-market lows at 143.87 50% extension to the low side, 135.51. Oh, sorry, that's why. You can see how ridiculous this is, right? And then 100% extension to the low side is at 128.18. So let's just look at the 50% on the high side, 165.54, and then 172.95. This Fib action is ridiculous for Apple. So I don't trust this today, and I don't think we're going to see as much out of it. I think we're going to see a lot of buyer fear as they avoid it, trying not to get caught in unusually strong action. Baba had a nice sell off, and then it caught some ground and made itself back up. We're going to take a look at that and see what it looks like on the daily chart. So Pre-market high of 136.92, pre-market low of 132.73, and that fits nice and neatly into the candle that we seen yesterday. And when you start getting outside of that, high side 139-ish, and then 100% extension to the high side 141.09. On the low side, extension to the 50 is 130.69, and at the 100 is 128.58. I don't see it going any lower than that, at least not right now, because you have all of this great support here where it's just not going to want to do that it's going to try and want to wedge a little bit first before it breaks out all right next one up i want to cover with you is going to be uh, microsoft you see how it had gapped down and then it came up but it forms a nice little trend line we'll have to see which side of this trend line it decides to jump itself onto and what it does as the market develops here today but pre-market high is at 102.25, 50% is going to be at 99, uh, 92-ish, right? It's holding right at that $100 mark. And then pre-market uh, low is going to be 98.60. If it travels to the downside, we could expect 97.23 at the 50 down and 95.92 at the 100% low. And if it caught ground and tries to shoot up, we're looking at 50% extension at the 102.51 and 100% extension at the 103.85. All right, guys, let's go on. And the last one I'm going to show you is AMD, my devil darling. And she's had a hell of a run, right? And set in some uh, lower highs here. 
It could rally a little bit, but I'm not going to put all my eggs in that basket. But let's see what the fibs tell us and how that compares on the daily chart, right? And remember, look at all these points of resistance as I go across these. Pre-market high is at 184.80. I'm sorry, 18.84. 50 percent is at the 18.48, and then the pre-market low is at 18.11. So you see that it, it's it's holding that resistance before the bottom of this candle. So this could wedge or it could break out. Um, let's look at the extensions from the high side, 100% extension, 1958, and then 50% extension, 1922. Um, to the low side, 50% extension is going to be at the 1774, and 100% is going to be at the 1737. So any way you look at it, you know, it's wedging in. I don't think it might be quite ready to break out unless the money's ready to pull out by the end of the week. We'll see, but keep your eyes on those levels. I can't picture this thing going much lower than that, um, but if it did on the low side, a really bad day we could be expecting all the way down to 1662, and a really good day, 2032 on the high side. I don't see it pretty much higher than that. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Of course, we're going to keep our eyes on the other big one. As always, guys, um, the normal watch list that I'm going to be looking at, uh, just no, not going to break it all down for you, is going to be Amazon, Tesla, Netflix, NVIDIA, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Boeing, Baba, Caterpillar, Square, MU, and AMD. That's what I've got my eyes on. I like my standbys. They treat me good. Um, go to the dance with the girl or dance with the girl that brought you there, right? And uh, I like these stocks because they're consistent performers, right? They don't have to be super amazing every day. They give great results. So that's why I stick with them. There's always plays every single day, but I'm not going to take the time to bore you with them. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. And I'll see you this afternoon with a recap.